The niece of Johnny Kitagawa, the late J-pop mogul, stepped down as the head of the talent agency her uncle founded amid a sexual abuse scandal. Julie K. Fujishima issued an apology at a press conference on Thursday, acknowledging her uncle was responsible for abusing hundreds of boys and young men on his books over decades. My job is to help and care for all the victims and to help the current talent working for Johnny and Associates, who are deeply hurt now. So I will not be involved in any other business and operation. Johnny Kitagawa died in 2019, aged 87. His talent agency, Johnny and Associates, became the most powerful in Japan's pop music industry, representing a series of boy bands and male models. The extent of the abuse perpetrated by Kitagawa emerged fully earlier this year following a BBC documentary, which left many in Japan horrified. Though the victims welcomed an apology, one said the talent agency should not continue to bear his name. This is president of the Johnny Sexual Assault Victims Association, Junya Hiramoto. I think she conveyed straight to us a message including talk of assistance that was well prepared in her own words and not just read from a script. The first media reports of Kitagawa's abuses appeared in 1999, though he never faced criminal charges and continued recruiting teenage boys until his death. The boys and men, known as Johnny's Juniors, would regularly sleep over at Kitagawa's apartment in groups, with one or several being targeted by Kitagawa for the night, one victim has said. The agency's official confirmation of Kitagawa's conduct prompted Japan Airlines to announce that it would suspend the use of Johnny and Associates' talents in its advertisements. Meanwhile, insurance giant Tokyo Marine and Nichido Fire Insurance also said it would consider terminating its contract with the agency.